So we are back with uh, some more Terraria. A um, couple things I did off camera. As you can see, I've been down in hell uh, quite a bit. Um, was trying to get the upgrade for. Um, sorry, I moved my pages around a little bit. Was trying to get. Um, I think it's a lava charm. Was trying to get that so I could uh, eventually upgrade that into Terra Spark boots. Uh, so far, no luck, but I was able to get the Summoner Emblem, which, uh, honestly, I'll take a flat 15% damage over healing any day of the week. So, a couple things on the agenda. I um, also tried fighting Dread Nautilus, I believe his name was. Uh, no, wasn't able to, because um, I wanted the Sanguine Bat. Um, I kind of made a point that I want to try and collect all of the summon weapons try I think I missed one I think it's the vampire frog uh, I don't know how to get it so I'll have to look into that but we missed the old ones army and this is still not flat enough okay is it because of this is that it that is it okay so we're gonna do the old ones army I may skip around a little bit with it or I may not. I don't know. I, I may just leave the whole thing in. Um, and I'll sit here and talk mostly through it. Because um, I do have a couple things I need to talk about. Um, which, first and foremost, y'all are nuts on the support. Thank you. Um, it, it gives me a lot of uh, confidence and just basically feel-good emotions that so many people... Even though it's a small few, but so many people are like, yeah, we like this guy's content. Keep it coming. It, it makes me feel good and uh, makes me want to keep doing it. So I appreciate that. Now now that all the mushy gooey stuff is out of the way. Um, well, we have uh, more Evil Within coming. I don't know when. Uh, probably be one or two today. It's just, this game and Evil Within, they, they take quite a while to produce. Um, and Space Marine, I'm still doing that as well. I, I don't know if anyone's actually really worried about it. Um, but, um, it's just Space Marine, I have to work within uh, other people's schedules for that. Kind of same with uh, Evil Within, um, even though it's not co-op. So, yeah, in Terraria, just, it, the editing actually isn't that bad, to be honest. I'm actually kind of having fun with it, and I hope you guys are enjoying it, too. Um, yeah, I wanted to say that I'm still working on these things, and I hope that I can garner your patience. Yeah, this is actually going fairly good thus far. Um, I normally don't use the lightning aura rod, but I wanted to try it out. So, that's what we're doing. I should probably put a ballista down, huh? Because we got flying stuff, but I don't... Oh, it's like the ballista staff is where? I'll go ahead and put one down. Protect my crystal, you know? So, how's everyone's day going? Everyone having a good day? Anyone do anything fun or interesting? Let me know down in the comments. I ain't really did, didn't much over the weekend. I mean, I did Dungeons and Dragons. That's about it. Some, uh, some dark fantasy. A friend of mine, uh, ran a campaign for me. It was, uh, it was actually quite nice to be on the receiving end of being a player for once instead of um, running the game. Breath of fresh air. Sometimes you kind of forget what it's like. Wave three of five. And if you guys have never played Dungeons and Dragons, I do I do recommend it. Um, for me, it's helped with therapy and like, it's it's very therapeutic. It's helped with. Um, Anxiety, depression. 
I mean, as long as you don't go, like, too hard into the roleplay, because there are people in there that are like, alright, I'm roleplaying a vampire. Now I'm gonna actually suck their blood and uh, drink pig's milk. Which, uh, story time, just real quick. Uh, one, of the D one of the DMs I've uh, played under, one of the other people that he played with, or groups that he had, he uh, was playing Vampire the Masquerade. I don't know if that's a very common um, game novel or game uh, book at all. But um, he basically he had people come over and play it, and they were all cosplaying as vampires. Well, you know, that, that goes on for a couple sessions. Well, it comes to find out a couple days or weeks later, he catches two or three people in his bathroom drinking pig's blood and had no, like, thing doing it beforehand. I mean, like, at the end of the day, you, you do you. You know, if you, <laughs> you want to drink pig's blood, that's fine, but I think that's taking the roleplay a little... Just, just, just a smidgen out there. Just a smidgen. Um, but no, I've never had, like, crazy experiences like that. Yeah, it, it was pretty crazy. I mean, that that's probably pretty mild compared to what some people experience in D&D. &D. Um, I think there's a YouTuber that does, like, D&D &D stories. I think he's called Crit Crab. Funny dude. Amazing content. Um, another one of them YouTubers that I that I uh, enjoy. I think it's Crit Crab. I'm not sure. I'll have to uh, go and look into it, and I'll probably link him in the description or something. Um, but yeah. Well, why why are there so many dark magicians? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Crit Crab. Let's get rid of some of this stuff. And it's night time. Um... Oh! Apprentice Scarf. Oh! O okay. Um... No, that, that shit's actually pretty cool. Alright, so I'm gonna go down to the base. Um, which actually got a little bit of love not too long ago. Um, one, one last thing, guys, guys, it, it's time. It's time. It, eviction notice. All right. These uh, these five NPCs have a couple days to leave. All right. Otherwise, I'm gonna be use. I'm gonna be forced to use lethal force. All right. And I don't want to do that. I quite like the zoologist and the the uh, the arms dealer. All right. I don't want to. I don't want to kick a furry to the curb. All right. That ain't the kind of person I am. All right. We're gonna go down here. We're gonna grab my twin summon. Um. I also grabbed, as you may notice, I grabbed some truffle worms. Um. They were not that hard to, uh, to um, acquire as they kind of just fell into my lap and that's kind of kind of the truth it's uh it's also quite hilarious um do i have any potions no i don't all right we'll just get into it then come here let me they ain't gonna let me whip him there we go he whipped he let me now we're gonna run away this fight is fairly simple. Second phase might be a problem, though. Ow, ow, get out of me, get out of me. Oh, wait, I can use sentries. Let's see, I can use sentries now. This may be a long fight, so I, uh, I'll probably make cuts when necessary.
There you go, Spaz. Got you. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we are coming down to the wire. As you can see, that health bar is dropping quite fast. Um, I don't know if any of them have died yet. I think Spaz is about to go. Come on. Yeah, there's one of them. Spaz is the last one alive. Nice. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, so that is the twins defeated. Um, let me just go ahead and grab my stuff. Got them juicy hollowed bars. Got them souls of sight. Good, 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 good. Um, so, I'm gonna go down and see if there's anything I can make with the hollowed bars. Hopefully we get an upgrade, because then... Um, on the next night, I am going to, um, I'm going to attempt to fight Skeletron. Um, after this, I'm going to go to the dungeon so I can farm up some bones. Uh, that way I can make a, uh, Skeletron Summoner. And I meant to say Destroyer. That's, that's what we were going to go and, um, attempt on the next night. So... Durandel. Okay. Superstar shooter. Okay, so there is... <coughs> Sorry for the coughing. So there is a summon set. I think I'd rather have the Durandel, to be honest. And I would go for that. That was my original reason, was going for the Optic Staff, but I just... I don't think it'll... I don't think it'll do a whole lot. So, yeah, we're going to make the Durandel. That's a must. I'll load Jousting Lance. That's cool. Don't care. Making Durandel. We have better whip now. It's like a sword, too. That's cool. Uh, we're going to go ahead and sell a couple things. <coughs> Don't need Abigail. Don't need Hellfire. Don't need Evan or Obsidian Fish. Pawn Hammer. Don't need it. Fire Blossom. Don't need it. Um. Yeah. That that seems good. blocks in here. Alright, so off to the dungeon now, because we need to farm up some bones. Uh, that way I could make the summon for Skeletron, and I need the Black Scorpion. That way, I can keep my, uh, minion, or not my minion, um, uh, my bug count up for fishing. Because in this episode, I may try to take out all three mechanical bosses. Um, however, I kind of want to get a better summon. Which, sadly, um, that that kind of requires going and um, fighting the Dread Nautilus, I believe. Even though the optic um, staff is there, I don't really want to go for that. I want to find something else. I want to be different. I want to be creative. So, ladies and gentlemen, jumping back for a sec, I figured we'd check out what the, uh, the, um, 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 steampunker sells. Steampunk minecart. You do sell the Clem Taminator, and I don't, I don't quite need that. But, I'll keep it in mind. 
Um, and I think I have enough for bones, so I don't think I need to jump away or anything. Um, but I will probably take you guys with me to check out what the, uh, witch doctor sells. I had to think about what I was saying for a minute. Lead. Souls of Night. And Light, I think. And Bones. Bones? Fair Bones? Bones for trade? There we go. Um, and I think... I think I'll do... See, arguably, Skeleton or Destroyer should be the easiest, but... It's just a lot of, um... Laser spam. So, I don't know. I'm not really sure who would be the easiest out of those two. I guess I'll find out, huh? Mm. You know, maybe we fight one of them during a blood moon. You know, spice it up a little. Yeah, I think that, I think that spells a good idea right there. I don't know what that did. Yeah, I think I think that means good idea and uh, do it again. Yeah, so that that's what I'll do. Good idea. Do I have any more of those Eternity of Crystals? I do. We'll go ahead and do this while we wait. Why not? We need to do it twice anyway because we need the ogre. So. It all works out. So, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, we were not able to uh, stop the goblins' endless on onslaught. So, uh, that means I'm gonna heal. Bewitching table. Uh, come here, Helen. You know, wait, why is, why is Helen in my world? Pixelated Fireball, get your lady, alright? Helen is in my world, and it was first try, also. So, clearly she doesn't... I don't know, man. Get your lady. I don't want her. Alright, so... First thing on the agenda, we are doing Skeletron first. So, we're gonna go ahead and eat his IS take care of him do our best to anyway he, he kind of sucks to be honest you know what? give me that laser I want that fucking laser gone I didn't say that the device I wanted I wanted the laser gone oh my god there's a wraith in the bottom of my arena Get off of me. I'm gonna die. Run to the nurse. Only she can save me. Nurse. Hello. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> Dude, these, these fucking vice things. Get out of here. So annoying. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is coming down to the end of us versus Skeletron, which is uh, quite a nice feeling, honestly. Um, we had a really rough start with Summoner. Still kind of rough, to be honest. I'm just glad it's uh, we're, we're kind of at the halfway mark right now. Would I'd say uh, more table banner? We don't need any of that. Now, for the the absolute fuck of it, I'm gonna try and fight Dread Nautilus. Gonna make me a little safety box. That way I cannot be bothered. And I'm going to fight. Try my best to fight Dread. So, 
Uh, I'll skip to when something interesting happens. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, so we managed to summon the Dread. Nautilus! Now, nah, we're, we're probably gonna fucking die. Let, let's be honest. Eh. I don't... I only seen his moveset once, and then he killed me right after, so I don't know how this is gonna go. Oh, where'd he go? Alright, he's right there. So he shoots them spikes. Alright, alright. Gonna do your little spinny spin. That's fine. Ow, you hurt. Run to the nurse! Wait, we gotta wait for him to stop doing a spinny spin. Now we're gonna run to the nurse. Nurse! There we go. No! He flew away! Well, on the bright side, we got the Vampire Frog Staff. Um, vampire Frog Staff, and then I think we got the Money Trough, too. Yeah, let me let me look real quick. Yeah, money trough. Good, 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 good. Um, yeah, money trough. Got that. I don't think there was anything else. Oh, mithril crate. I mean, that's other than that, that's about it. Um, let's go see if there's anything we can make with our hollowed bars, cause um, it would be nice to get a armor <coughs> upgrade. And if you guys have made it this far in the video, please drop a like, drop a sub. We are very close to uh, hitting 160. And uh, I would appreciate it if we could get to that. Um, I don't think I would have enough. I may have to make an ore 2 chest. Weapons, that's full. Put the vampire frog staff in there. <clears throat> Probably only have enough to make, like, the head. Where's it at? It's a like great... Right... Okay, it's right there. Yeah, we'll go ahead and craft that. Now, is it better than what we already have? Arguably, no. Well, actually, the head technically would be better, but we'd have less defense, but more damage. Yeah, why Why not? Well, no, because we missed out on the set bonus, so we'll have to wait. I don't want to miss out on the, the set bonus. So that will go in armor, and I'll put the hollowed bars in there so I remember. Um, I don't... Do life crystals spawn after defeating a single mech boss? Because if they do, that might be the rest of the video. I'm just going to dump this stuff in there. I'm not a very organized Terraria player, and I'm, I'm guessing that shows, and that's fine. Bucket of chum. Um, keep that there so I remember. Yeah, alright. Deposit our money. You know what? Could go fight Queen Slime or take a crack at Duke. Should we go take a crack at Duke? Yeah, why you know what? Yeah, let's <laughs> let's let's be dumb. Let's be dumb. Alright, I'll meet you guys at the ocean. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, so I am at the beach. Who knew I needed a beach vacation? So I'm gonna go ahead and layer this out. I don't need um, a second platform because I'm not expecting to win. Um, people, some people may be like, well, don't you want the best chance? Yeah, well, I'm not really thinking I'm gonna win this. Duke is one of those fights for me where. I either die a bunch, or he's extremely easy in a pushover. So, I'm not really worried about him. 
<clears throat> until I know exactly what kind of uh, way this is going to go. I'm not even going to put down campfires. I don't even have wood on me, so I ain't too worried about it. Alright, gotta leave that open now for the Duke fight. Did it work? Hang on, there we go. There he is, the man, the myth, the legend. Yeah, okay. 60,000, Jesus. Now I'm doing all ones to him. If I had the Sanguine Staff, I might actually beat him. Yeah, even with the tag damage. Even with the tag damage, it was still one, twos, and threes. That's fine. Um. Well... You know, actually, I suppose I could go and explore the jungle um, off-camera or in the next episode. But in the next episode, I am going to take down the remaining of the mechanical bosses. Um, I'll probably f try and defeat Dread Nautilus off-camera. Um, just because it's so it's so tedious to um, uh, wait for a night every time, and then you die to him, and then he doesn't stay. You know, you guys know the drill. You guys know the normal Terraria stuff. So, without further ado, it has been A10 Radium, and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye!